Welcome back, everybody, to News 4 Great Day, and it is a great day down here in Belleville, Illinois. I'm Matt Chambers coming to you live from Eckert's Farm along with Chris Eckert. The last name is no coincidence, by the way. <laughs> Neither are the matching hairnets we coordinated this morning. Chris, how are you? Great. It's apple season, and it's always fun on the farm when it gets to apple season. Absolutely. I've, I've picked apples here. I've picked peaches here. I've picked pumpkins here with my kids through the years. For anybody that's, that's never done it, you got to get out here. It's, it's kind of one of those bucket list experiences, and once you've had a taste, you'll come back time and time again. We'll talk more about how apple picking is underway in just a moment, but this is a very exciting year in particular because in 2020, the Cider Press comes back to Belleville. Yeah. Tell me about this. We uh, revamped our entire, entire warehouse facility, which included a brand new setup for our cider making process. All this equipment that you see was just installed about a month ago. Wow. And we are just starting to pick Honeycrisp and Gala apples. So we're getting ready to run some cider here today. We've been running for about a week and a half now. And all this equipment came from Austria, actually. Hmm. So it's uh, brand new to us, but not necessarily uh, new to the world. Right. But uh, it is a very efficient and exciting process for us. I haven't seen it run yet, but I've heard that it's very loud. So Chris and I are going to be quiet for a second. Let everybody at home see how it runs. It really is a technical marvel. Let's, let's see how this works. All right. I feel like I'm in Willy Wonka's chocolate factory all of a sudden. This is really cool. So this goes straight from here to the country store, right next door, right? Yeah, well, this is actually the byproduct. Right. So this, this is just the dry, ground-up apples that are left up, or they're squeezed. This will go back into our apple orchards to be used as like an organic fertilizer. Oh, that's wonderful. But Perfect. the juice is getting pumped through this hose right here into these tanks. Apple picking out of the orchard I know is a little different this year. Folks will want to check out your website for more information on on what's changed, you want to schedule your time to get out on the tractor and that sort of thing, right? Yeah, everything is new in 2020, right? right? So right. we have to work to make sure that we're operating in a responsible and safe way. Mm -hmm. Part of that is really for us just keeping our crowds a little lower than normal so that we can safely distance everybody and that we can handle crowds that we uh, feel we can manage responsibly on our wagons. The picking experience is the same. Mm -hmm. Same orchards, yeah. same apples, same varieties. So once you get out there, it's, you know, no better way to sure. socially distance and grocery shop than in the orchard itself. So. If nothing else, maybe a little more elbow room than you used oh, to have. Yeah, Not yeah. that that was ever a problem before. Chris, thank you so much for what you do for the community. We appreciate it. Always a great spot here in uh, Belleville. And, of course, uh, Eckert's has orchards and farms across the area. Check out their website for more information. And we'll post more information, too, on our website, guys, kmov.com. Slash great day. You know, pretty cool, huh? It's yeah. very cool, and I think it's a good reminder for all of us when we drink apple cider that we need to remember the lives of all of those apples who gave the ultimate price so that we could enjoy <laughs> apple cider. I think that's important. I will think about that True the next words. time I We're take never a drink. <laughs> yeah.